Hey everybody, editing the speedruns kinda got me a bit burnt out this week, so I decided to try something new. A lot of you have suggested in the comments certain challenges for some campaign scenarios. The ideas were great, and I decided to take a shot at it. For the first one I decided to try and see if on the Giant Falls, the fourth mission of Alaric, when we are tasked to destroy 12 castles in Rome, it's possible to win the game not by building a strong military, but by having the economy of Japan in the 80s, and supplying Atalf and the Visigoths with resources so they fight for us instead. For this challenge, I am not allowed to train any new military units, and all the fighting required must be with the starting ones. Since our objective is economy, and economy only, everything we do is towards the final goal of economic dominance. Except this castle over here, because I feel this needs a monument of power, a symbol of early waste to show confidence in our mission. I remember quickly that these guys separate the Visigoths and I, and send my limited army to deal with it. With that out of the way, we meet Yellow, who immediately starts blasting at the gates. There's so many units here, where are mine? I gotta figure out a way to get a tough to join. A new town center is ordered, let's ramp up this production. The Visigoths are working wonders already inside the city. This might actually go great. And now for a market, so we can start sending ammunition and howitzers. Mmm, interesting. There's a way to go around to Atov without fighting. Your arrows mean nothing to me. Fuck off. The first tribute is paid. Godspeed, Visigoths. And one for Atelf, so he doesn't feel left out. Hehe, <laughs> sec. Is that a relic I see? More gold. Atelf joined the game, and Rome is screwed. One more town center because we can do better with the economy. I'm really enjoying this farm simulator while war rages up ahead. Time for another tribute to my warring buddies. Some crazy building action now, gotta raise that population capacity. The trap is a bit too close, but his heart was in the right place. Guys, building houses is fun, take this wood and try. Actually, here's a lot more resources, because I can see you're not growing that fast inside Rome. What is this Heaven's Gate bullshit? Go back into the castle. I swear to god the villagers have no self-preservation. Almost out of gold in the map, luckily there's a market here. Here's your daily payment for fighting a good fight. I really like the sea of infantry strolling around the Telf's camp. Okay, I kinda got distracted when I went to make a grilled cheese and left the game running. I should probably make another market to hasten this thing up. And the third one, because I noticed the Visigoths built a market. Fuck it, here's another one. Another castle toppled, my buddies are like rabbit pit bulls. I ran out of wood. How did I run out of wood? Hmm, I think it's time for more tributes. I start feeling bold and send my market to trade with the Roman one. And another big shipment of food sent, so they can start preparing the victory feast. Check out the new Italian Silk Road. My population is growing close to the limit. I need to get rid of these soldiers so I can spend my economy. I got distracted again when I went to pee. Did somebody ask for more howitzers? No? It's fine, I'll send it just in case. Oh yes, half of the mission done. The Gulf War machine is inevitable. Population cap reached, time to give these fellas an honorable death so we can train new villagers. Damn you, how's Carl's being so strong? In a fit of frustration, I donate to my buddies again. Okay, settle down, host Carl, no one likes a gloater. Here's your money, whore. Aw, oh, they're doing a pincer move on the last two castles. I'm so proud. And gate mosh pits now? Is this their fun little way to thank me for all the resources? You guys. Here, take this. One castle left, and it's not even an hour of game. I mean, I know I shouldn't complain when you have done such a wonderful job, but all of these just standing around? It's okay, it's okay, it doesn't matter, because you're doing it. The final Roman castle falls and we finish the challenge. The giant falls completed without training a single unit. And here's proof, only the initial 33 troops lost. So there it is. The fourth chapter of Valeric is doable without any direct military intention. And in great time as well. Actually, four minutes faster than my previous attempt. Now the question is, am I that good in economy, or that bad in fighting? Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this idea, and if you have any suggestions or feedback, I'm open to anything. Anything.